2007, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in biology uh, from my alma mater and was one of the maybe five or six students that were black, two that were black male, me and another brother, and about a class of 300 that graduated in natural sciences and mathematics. And I was very proud that day. And no doubt I had pending applications uh, for the next following year at the time for, you know, professional school, which I got into about eight years later. That's another story. But I had that going on my behalf. And I was, um, you know, very excited about the possibilities of doing what I'm doing and all of this stuff. But then around the same time, guys, uh, some things happened in my life. I wouldn't say they were bad, but that happened before I even graduated. And what did I mean? I didn't get any internships, okay? I thought that I had my degree. All of that would change. I wasn't talking to recruiters during my junior year. I wasn't talking to recruiters during my senior year. And um, although my school gave me plenty of opportunity, um, interaction, the job fair to talk to people, that wasn't the way I was going. And so what I ended what ended up happening was I w- it was ending up being a person with a bachelor's degree with no experience. And that ended up almost being a high school diploma, okay? So now I'm thinking the world has opened up to me, and really it's the same thing. I got a bachelor's degree, and I'm still competing against people that have no degrees in, in minimal jobs. So I find myself working at um at uh at a big company in tech support. Job was going cool. Was was working for as a recruiter. And then I get laid off. Now, my mom is telling everybody I graduated, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. My grandma was telling me that I'm 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 thinking that my life is going to open up. I'm still living at home with my mom. Okay? My parents are divorced this time. So, um, I'm, I don't have a job. I'm with my mom. I don't have that much money to say. 1989 camera, Camry. And you have to roll down the window to open the door up from the, y'all know them cars. You have to roll down the window to open the door, the car out from the outside. Nigga, I'm broke. All right? And at this moment, I have fell off. It's, it's happened more than once in my life, right? And I'm back home with my mom. My mom asking me, where am I going? Who am I going to see? I'm damn near 30, okay? 27, 26. And I thought everything would be bad, right, until I've heard other brother stories. Glendon Cameron, uh, successful brother. I heard elite trucking. Guys who have been homeless, living in their cars with no support, divorced, and fell off. Now, for some people, man, if you're not strong in your mind, you will do something crazy. Uh, You can get involved in crime. You can get involved in drugs. And that happens to some people, man. Some people get into that and they actually become homeless, become drug addicts. And then their life goes down a downward spiral. And that that's for people who have who are not mentally strong here. Uh it happens where um they might get sick or something like that. But the brothers who I know that come back stronger than before, they have something that money can't buy. And that is the determination to make it. And I want to talk to you about that today because a lot of times we don't talk about this because a lot of brothers are down on their luck, especially if you were a brother that was starting to do well and you made a lot of money and then you came back down and people was laughing at you. We'll tell you this, man, and that's happened to me before. Let them laugh. You know, let people talk about you. Uh, it's not your job to 
go back and forth because people will look at you like, man, I thought you was graduated. What you doing back here? I'm back here. I'm going to tell you, it's a humbling ass experience. But one thing nobody can take away from you is the ability to want to make it. Because I tell you, my mom, my granddaddy used to say, Lord, keep my mind. As long as I got my mind, I can do it. I got a little bit of health. And these this is the 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 great people. Money can come and they can go. Uh bills can come and they can come and they can go. Um friends can come and they can go. But the brother who is willing to make it, and he believed that I did it once, I can do it again. You're not gonna keep that brother down unless you get to unless it's death. That brother's not gonna give up. And that's a lot of people. I hear some success stories all the time, man. You hear about people with no arms and no legs that's getting up every day doing things. There's a story about one lady that went to Harvard. Both of her parents had AIDS. She was living in the car with them. And she would sleep in the school gym every night and got a full scholarship to Harvard. Every time I think about something that is so bad in my life personally, I hear about other people's things, man, and I say, wow, I don't have any excuses. And really, you don't. Because a lot of times we take it personal when things happen to us. People screw us over, and we fall off, and we come amongst bad times, and you start asking, why me? Well, man, listen, there's a lot of people that bad things happen to. A lot of times as black men, we forget about it's about responding to it. So I, I just want to say, brother, you're going to fall off in some aspect. It might not always be financially. Also, you might fall off whether you spiritually, you might fall off. Um, you emotionally tied to somebody. It might be a bad breakup, it might be a death in the family. Something like that is going to shake you up. The longer that you live, you're going to go through, if not one, not all of these things. People are going to come, and they're going to go. But there is one thing that can be consistent in your life, and that is your will to overcome all of that shit. And that's the difference between successful people and people who are not, man. Things happen. They get hit hard, might get knocked down, might lose the fight, but they're coming back. And... You'd be surprised at how much help that you have, really, if you think about it. A lot of times, you're not always out here by yourself. Uh, you know, now you have on the Internet support groups. You have um, forums. You have things like that. You have people who want to see you make it. You have some people glad as hell that you're falling off. But always remember, man, people have been through worse and overcome more. Yeah, people who get themselves in a big trouble and overcome more. People who've been in the penitentiary 15, 20 years, lose out a, a, a time in their life and come back out and achieve more. So there's always a success story waiting to happen, but you have to make it happen. And when you live in America, um, you know, I, I made a story about these guys. Some of them that were homeless were Harvard graduates, Cornell graduates. PhDs in electrical engineering, physics and stuff, but they're homeless. And you figure, how could that happen? Some people got more here and more here. Some people refuse to stay like that. Don't matter if people talk about them. Don't matter if people leave them. Don't matter if people won't help them. Some people are going, some people are going to overcome it, man. Some people are going to make it because they have the desire to make it. And that is always the most important thing. So, guys, always believe, you know, in what you can do. Believe in your own abilities because a lot of times people um, don't believe in you all the time. But if you have just one or two other people that believe in you, it makes it a whole lot better. People that's in your corner. And if you don't have it, it makes it a lot tougher. But you can always rest assured. 
that somebody has been through worse and achieved more. Always know that you take it one day at a time. When I got fired, when I fell off, and this is where I'm at here now, it's one day at a time. One day at a time. Sometimes when you get fired or something like that, sometimes if you have enough money, you can get unemployment. You can take that time for yourself for a few weeks. And that's what I did in my story, man. Um, I fell off, got fired. It's 2014. I came on the computer. I searched for my next move. I searched for my next move. I searched for my next move. I thought about my next move. I thought about my next move. And I kept thinking about the next day. You know, the next day. I was thinking about the next day all the time. I was thinking about the next year. I was thinking about everything else. I wasn't thinking about what I was going through right now. I was thinking about the next day and I want to add that in there. Um, Is that what you do when you have to work at a bullshit job? You don't like the job a lot. You have, uh, uh, you're living in a place you don't really want to live at. I, I, I'm not thinking about that as much. I'm thinking about the next day. I'm thinking about five years from now. I'm thinking about what I want to get. I'm thinking about goals. Yeah. This board behind here goals. And brothers need to really start looking at them goals, all right? Put those goals on the board, you know, and and, 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 and doing the right things to achieve those goals. I'm not worried about the fact that I got a 1982 Datsun. Oh, I got people laughing at me because my car burned a poop, poop, poop down the street. I'm looking at this. I'm not looking at these niggas that people talk. I'm looking at this. So keep your minds forward. You're thinking forward. Your goals forward. You know, if you need listen to motivational tapes on YouTube, listen to them. Keep all of that forward. And you'd be surprised, man, how your life start moving in that direction. And also, last but not least, appreciate the small gains that you are making in your life. You know, sometimes you have big goals, but big goals don't happen on big jumps. Life happens in little bitty jumps, you know. You, you get it over time. So do what you're supposed to do every day, and you will eventually get there. And a lot of times, you don't get there in one jump. You get there in little bitty jumps, but you appreciate that nonetheless. Thank yourself for what you've been doing. Appreciate what you're doing for yourself. And those are some of my tips, man, to recovering from falling off. Guys, thank you for your support. All my contact information is in the first comment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe at the bell. Um, check out my free comic, Dr. Action. My free ebooks, if you need them, email me at planetoshare at gmail.com. We have four. If you want to support the content that we have at negromanosphere.com, Black Male Media, it's $5 a month uh, to support. We have personal video content, stuff like that. But support brothers doing a great thing. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all time high. I'm out.